Tuning in that did cast their vote not for Aladdin. I'm basically giving a spoiler here. I'm gonna play the other game that doesn't get picked each week too. So I don't want anyone to feel left out. I'm very inclusive here. However, the game that does get voted for is gonna get the primary uh, primary airtime. So But for all of you that adore the Lion King just as much as me, and not just the game, but the film as well. This is for you. So I want everyone that was all stressed out that their, that their uh, game didn't get picked. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata? Akuna, Kakuna. Kakuna from Pokemon, Kakuna Yurtatas. Um, I loved the noise he made. That was like my favorite thing when I was a kid. Rob says, holy crap, this seems so much faster compared to Aladdin. Like it's in turbo mode. <laughs> well, this is a different developer too. Capcom made Aladdin. Um, I can't recall who developed this one. Was it Westwood? If it was Westwood, wasn't Westwood the developer of Command and Conquer? I think so. Someone look that up for me, confirm this weird fact. Cool. cool. You know where I love this game? Because of Jonathan Taylor Thomas? Yep, that'd be why. Mm -hmm. yep. Weird Got obsession. It. Weird obsession, please. What does he look like now? Is he aged well? He's still hot. Is he? Cool. Yes. Is he still like three feet tall? <laughs> I don't care how tall he is, he's hot. Oh, okay, alright. All right. Avoid him, avoid him. Oh, that's not avoiding him. What? Jump! Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> you did better in practice. I didn't do the full bone practice either. That's true. That's true. Meow. Um, Street Fighter Turbo should be next. That'd be a good one. If I'm doing fighting games, though, I need a guest star. So if you ever want a guest star on the Classics Lounge, let me know. I'll find a way to bring you on. Everything that I touch. <laughs> this is for you all. Sing along. Don't you judge, JTT. And yes, Westwood developed Lion King and Command & Conquer. So yeah, those are those are very weird, uh, I guess, the, the differences in those games. You practice this one a lot. <laughs> um. Ah, shoot! <laughs> we want to hear the song. I'm sorry, I'm not doing very good. That's what I did there. I love that Rafiki's just like a crazy monkey. But he's very wise. Oh! JTT loves women who poop. So he loves all women? Okay. Everybody poops. Uh, what's wrong with being five foot six? Miss Yar Reynolds hey, says. He's still taller than me. I mean, five six is all right. <laughs> no love for Matthew Broderick here. Unless they're an android. Ma you know, I like Matthew Broderick. He's got a good uh, good uh, voice talent. Ferris Bueller. 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 Anyone? Um, I do like him in Godzilla. He was great. Oh, I hate these freaking rhino tails. Rhino tails. <sighs> They're not rhinos, they're hippos, right? Yeah, those are hippos. Rhinos have horns. We only had one continue, so I think this is it. Really? Mm -hmm. You might have to switch difficulty. Did you not put it on easy? No, this oh, is what normal. The heck? <laughs> it was on easy in the practice Saturday round. Saturday poops unless they're an android and should be destroyed. Wait, what? 
probably from the Nintendo movie also. No, Andrea doesn't <laughs> like Android. She likes iPhone. Sorry. <sighs> womp womp. Wow. <laughs> Cool. How? Um. I've never seen a mighty king look quite so evil. Now I want to watch this movie. <laughs> So I had bad luck obtaining this movie on Blu-ray. As you know or may not know, Disney movies come in and out of the vault, and they're quite difficult and expensive to find when in the vault. We ended up finding a copy of this at a pawn shop, and unfortunately, even though it's quite difficult to do, the Blu-ray was damaged and would jump around. Um, could it be cleaned? Sure. Fortunately, it was re-released from the vault recently with a signature edition. We had purchased that from Disney's website and the, was it UPS or USPS? UPS? UPS. UPS. The clowns at UPS in a rainstorm left it on my porch, not leaning up against my house, but right against the stair in the rain. And it absorbed a puddle of water. And when I picked it up, it just poured out like you would have your boot, you know, full of water and dump it out. The box poured out. Fortunately, the DVD was not, or Blu-ray was not damaged and is playable and it came with a digital copy. But it came with oh. lithograph that I really wanted for decoration for my son because, again, this is my favorite Disney movie. I wanted to share that. And those items were unfortunately not replaceable. They were out of stock and it was a limited run thing. Um, and all I got in the end result was a $10 credit from Disney because UPS wouldn't do anything. I called management, filed formal complaints and everything. Um, and it's not the first time they've left damaged stuff at our door. So I've had just bad luck with the Lion King for some reason. It's like, we know it's your favorite thing, but uh, fuck you. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what it was. It was just bad luck, I guess. Fortunately, again, the digital copy is fine. He's watched the movie only a couple times, and I don't think he gets into it yet. He's stuck on cars and uh, despicable me at the moment. One day, though. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> Rob says we just watched that with Emmy. It's oh a good God. one. It's a good one to share. I'm done after this. I'm not doing this anymore. You can do it. You I did it before. I, I think it's because I'm tired. You must focus. Hum. You're just giving up. I'm not giving up. I think it's because I'm tired. <laughs> and I'm terrible, let's be honest. I mean, really? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that game is frustrating. Rob says you can do it. Too late. I, I didn't do it. It's alright, we can watch this. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sarah says, my mom got us tickets to see Lion King on Brando last year. It was amazing. I'm jealous for that. Uh, the King has retired. If you get a chance, go see it. We saw at Animal Kingdom, they had a, it was the Lion King thing, right? It was like yeah. a, it was like it was a little like a musical show, show yeah. musical show. I enjoyed it because, again, I love the, the music for this film. Um, but, yeah, I'd love to to go to see Lion King on Broadway. Hell, just to go to Broadway again, that would be phenomenal. I think I'm not big on musicals. I'm, I'm very 
picky, you know, me being picky on something weird. Um, but I think this is one I would definitely enjoy. However, we're winding down here and ending our late night, if you're old, <laughs> our, our late night session of the Classics Lounge. Uh, this was yet another installment featuring, of course, Disney's Aladdin on multiple platforms here for you. And then the opposing game this week was The Lion King. So first off, I want to thank you all for voting each and every week. Normally, this would be the part where I announce the poll and post for next week. However, there is no poll for next week. What? Why? Well, because there's one specific game that I want to play for everyone that I think would be a lot of fun. If you do have suggestions, leave it in the comment below and maybe I'll play your game that you suggest as a bonus game that same episode, but there's no poll. Oh, what's the game you asked? You definitely want to know. I'm leaving you in suspense. Well, there's a film coming out next Friday starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson called Rampage. Fun fact, that's a video game movie. And we're going to travel back to the NES in 1988 next week, 30 years ago. Yes, 30 years ago. And play Rampage, featuring the giant monster, if you will, as we tear down the city. And no, The Rock will not be one of the heroes in it. We will just be destroying level after level of cities. We, maybe I'll have a guest star, maybe you'll find out. Uh, Rob says the movie looks pretty good, I agree. Um, but yeah, so that is next week. Same time, same place on YouTube and Twitch. And if you didn't know already, down below at the bottom, there's that little goal for our URL. Once we hit 100, we're eligible for a custom one. So please, if you have not yet, hit subscribe. If you're on Twitch, jump over to YouTube, search for Dose Nerd Acumen, and subscribe there. If you're on YouTube, do the same thing. We need some followers on Twitch. You can always find us on Facebook. Stay up to date with all our latest content because we air every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Every Monday, we got Lock Steady. Every Tuesday, we got Lock Steady and Kind of Smallish. Every Wednesday, The Classics Lounge. Every Thursday, Eric the Dead. And every Friday, you can catch a new episode of The Weekly Dosage. This week, we are doing a very special new episode starring Eric and myself with the debut of the side project of DNA called The Three Second Tan. It's a wrestling vodcast, so check it out. Uh, this Friday night at 9 p.m. right here on YouTube and Twitch. Besides that, if you like pictures, check us out on Instagram. If you like birds, unrelated, find us on Twitter. It's a horrible joke. We'll go with it, though. But again, thank you for checking out yet another Classics Lounge episode. Until next time, keep gaming. See ya.